Hey everybody, it is Mr. Tracy. I am the voice of Starpoint Swimming and Diving. I am here to introduce you to uh, Mr. Toth, the head coach of Starpoint Swimming and Diving, his assistant coach, Mr. Koiza, who also teaches at Lockport, the head coach of Lockport Swimming and Diving, Mr. John Sullivan, and teacher from Starpoint Middle School, Mr. Tim Mangus. Uh, we're here to talk to you guys about the return of the Canal Crusade. Uh, Mr. Toth, why don't you talk a little bit about the history of the uh, Canal Crusade and what brought its return? Um, we've always maintained a uh, good relationship with Lockport. Um, being a former swimmer, I um, always look forward to facing off with uh, Lockport. Um, it was always one of the one of the meets we look forward to every single year. Um, I think that Tim and John can speak more to it, um, that they kind of created the idea. And um, it was originally a fundraiser, um, which I'm sure that they could talk about. Um, but, you know, Sullivan and I have uh, always been in contact and we just decided this year we wanted to kind of get back into it, get, some, get a little extra meet in and a little something extra for the boys. All right. Uh, Tim, you were, uh, Mr. Mengus, you were the head swim coach, a bit of an institution for a while out at Star Point and create, uh, created quite a program. Um, the Canal Crusade started under you. Uh, what was the inspiration for the Canal Crusade? Well, uh, I think uh, back in 2008, John and I decided to just let's let's have a dual meet, uh, cross, town, cross town rivals. John and I had known each other a real long time. And uh, we had a meeting in 2008, and then the following year, uh, there was a lot of push around. Different different schools are doing different things, uh, fundraisers. So John came up with the idea of creating a fundraiser uh, for our dual meet, and we kind of uh, came up with the name of the Canal Crusade. And we decided we had to choose what uh, the fundraiser, the charity that it was going to go to, and my father had received a heart transplant in uh, 1993. So, and I had been a big supporter of units, uh, upstate New York transplant services. Uh, so we uh, decided to do the Canal Crusade and really uh, kind of, not only was it a meet about competition with Crosstown Rivals, but it was about teaching, teaching our boys that we were coaching, you know, about giving back and the importance of that uh, on top of just being, uh, you know, good students and good athletes that we can do something for the community and something good, uh, for something, something, uh, somebody other than ourselves. So that's kind of where it originated from. And, uh, I'll let coach Sullivan kind of add to that. Yeah, no, I, I, I think, uh, coach Mangus really kind of nailed it, that, uh, it was a cause that was near and dear to, uh, quite literally his family's heart and, you know, we were uh, very close friends, uh, lived across the street from each other for a few years. Uh, his wife's in the building at Lockport. Um, you know, his his brother-in-law's in the building at Lockport. And, you know, I've had the fortunate uh, uh, chance to, to coach both of his sons over the last few years. So, you know, if it meant so much to them, it meant something to us. And I think he says it right. Like we were trying to show the kids that, it's about giving back. And, you know, as we were going through those meets, I don't think coach or I would say that it wasn't without a lot of work and a lot of craziness added on to a busy season. But I think we both felt that it was good for the kids to see that sometimes you just have to, to, to kind of roll up your sleeves and do that stuff for a greater cause or to help other people. And, and you know, Coach Toth and Coach Quesa, they both participated in the meets and – you know, I think, you know, if we're sitting here now as one of our kind of hidden objectives, I think we nailed it, Coach. I think we did, too. And in the end, we wound up, uh, over the five years that we did it, uh, we wound up raising over $22,000 to uh, give to units, uh, which was um, beyond our wildest dreams when, when John and I, uh, when Coach Sullivan and I had, had really begun this. Um, and our, our boys... Uh, he and I, we rolled up our sleeves and were able to really um, have some fun with the meet. Uh, we had a lot of fun with setting it up and music and um, and it was most, every meet was competitive and uh, the kids had a lot of fun with it, but it also went to a really worthy cause. 
Excellent. Hey, Coach Sullivan, um, to make it a true canal, canal crusade, have you guys ever considered putting lane lines in the Erie Canal and um, <laughs> having the kids swim in the canal? Uh, you know, I think that works other than time of year. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Coach Coisa, how's it feel to go from a participant in one of the original canal crusades to now coaching it? And kind of having your feet in both uh, camps being a teacher at Lockport, but coaching at Star Point. Well, right now it's it's exciting for one because it's kind of come full circle. Um, Coach Mangus and Coach Sullivan mentioned it before. They were teaching us something a lot more than just swimming. We had banners going out. We got to parade out like it was a championship meet. We got to swim against other guys we wouldn't normally get to see until championship season. But for me, it became much more of a family type event now where I'm coaching with my best friend who I swam against. I'm coaching against my former coaches who I swam for. And it gives us a chance to give back. And like I said, it's all come full circle. And I hope we give a good experience to the kids and they get the same out of it as well and get to see, hey, there's more than just Star Point and Lockport. It doesn't really matter, matter where you're coaching, who you're coaching against, who you're swimming against. There can still be the competitive edge and get some joy out of it and, and have a good time. It was always a fun time being in this meet at the end of the season just because it was something to look forward to, whether it was the wooden paddle, which I get to, or the kickboard I stare at every day and wonder why Lockport's not on it. But it, it still has that motivation to me to get back into it. And I'm glad we're able to do the uh, the meet again. It's going to be good. And uh, Coach Toth, is this the official return of the Canal Crusade? And can we look forward to it in uh, future years? Um, that's the plan as of right now. Um, we are putting the kickboard back up, so that'll be something that uh, we'll be able to show starting uh, this week. And then um, I, I, I'm, as long as it's all okay with the other guys, I'd like to continue it down the road as well. Yeah, I'm good as long as we can uh, work it in the schedule, you know. And uh, one more question for Coach Mangus. Um, you know, you, you were a bit of an institution at Star Point with your coaching, but uh, your son is swimming for Lockport this year. Um, are you going to have some mixed emotions at this meet? Yeah, my, my heart's definitely in uh, two places. I, I was telling my wife, I'm – um, we, there were always great meets, but we wound up coming out in those five years, we wound up coming out on top it when I was coaching there. Uh, and it, it wasn't about that, but you know, it still was a competitive and fun meet. Some of the meets came right down to the end, but I just told my wife the other day, I mean, my son Luke swims for Lockport, obviously I'm cheering for Lockport, but yeah, there's part of me, you know, of course I work at Star Point and um, I still have a lot of ties with my old swimmers and they're like family to me. So, uh, you know, yeah, it definitely will be interesting um, watching the meet and and watching the competitive edge. And, and I also have a lot, I had a lot of the swimmers on Star Point team in my class too. So there's a lot, there's a lot there for sure. So, but it'll be fun. I was happy when uh, Mark and John told me that they're going to try to do this, uh, and my son is excited about it, and uh, it will be good to watch. That's great. Uh, any last words from any, any of the four coaches before we sign off? No, I, I think Tim's given us a great report of what the kids are saying at home because uh, there's, there's some excitement and some buzz about having this opportunity, you know, and the way that the, the year has just unfolded. Um, you know, I think the season comes to a screeching halt for pretty much every team but three in this sectional tournament. And, uh, you know, we kind of thought ahead and, and planned this out and uh, kind of created another week of enthusiasm and energy for the kids. That's great. Good. Well, uh, I want to thank you guys for joining us. And we want to thank all the parents for the support that they had of uh, this past season for their, for their swimmers and, um, Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this short video on the history of the Canal Crusade. And we hope that you are enjoying the swim meet.